these products are the same. There's no way around it. What at all gives the differentiation between these products? Could you imagine trying to enter this market and how you might think about doing that and whether or not that would be worth your time or not and whether or not you could actually carve out something within it? Um, and so what's interesting here is the pricing structure that's been put in place. So if we take a look here, for instance, pricing structure for this one, which is the same ladder as this one, okay? But this one is 100 bucks. It was 122. So now it's a limited time deal. I wonder if that gives some uh, extra weight to people converting, okay? With 1,683 ratings versus this ladder here, for instance, also a special time deal, Amazon's choice, 77 bucks was 91 and 77, okay? So I wonder, and I don't know the answer to this, I wonder what would be the sufficient number of reviewers for me to take a risk on this product with 74 reviewers and save myself 20 bucks, 19 bucks versus this one with 2,800. Like if that was you looking at this SERPs here, which one would you buy? Which one would you give your money to? I'd be super interested if you, so number one, Number two, number three, which one would you give your money to? And I think that what we can learn from pricing is that it is a, um, that price itself is very, very elastic. And the ability to do things with price is one of the great things about being an e-commerce entrepreneur. We can kind of think through this pricing strategy and how we go about doing that. So I've got a couple of interesting things for you. First thing, interesting thing I've got for you is how to actually price your product to begin with how to price your product to begin with. If we are entering this marketplace, we've got to think about uh, how we're going to get people to actually try the product in light of the fact that there are products with more reviews than our product because we're just launching. How do we get them to take a chance on us? Okay, And the only thing we can really use, all things being equal, is price. So they've knocked down price to get in there. And that is, I think, a really, really good strategy to do. So a good rule of thumb is when you are thinking about launching a product, look at the overall pricing structure of everybody, start making a spreadsheet of what prices are being charged for things. And you want to come in 10% lower than everybody else, okay? 10% lower than everybody else. So whatever's the lowest for your given product, you need to be 10% lower than that to get people to take a chance on that, okay? To get people to take a chance on it. So for that, you could probably be at 59.99 and it really wouldn't make a great deal of difference. As long as you were in 50 and they were in 60, it wouldn't really matter, okay? It wouldn't really matter. You'd still be perceived as there's a whole 10 quid in this instance, much cheaper, okay? So when you start, you want to be 10% lower. Then as you start getting reviewers, so the more reviews you get, you ought to be able to increase the price of your product. Uh, as you get more and more reviewers, you can slowly inch your price up. Now, that all sounds super easy. And it would be, were it not for the fact that Amazon's got these new pricing rules in around price gouging, okay? So you need to do that carefully. Like an increase once a month is A-OK. -okay. Multiple increases during a month will make a noise in Amazon. It will flag something and your listing will get looked at for sure. And what does that mean? Well, when a listing gets looked at, the first thing it what happens is your listing gets suppressed, meaning you can't make sales anymore whilst they look and evaluate your listing, okay? So you absolutely want to avoid that. Absolutely want to avoid that. So again, 
Start 10% lower. As soon as you get, depending on the marketplace, but a good rule of thumb, as soon as you get 20 reviews, start increasing your prices. Start increasing your prices. So what does that mean then? Well, that usually means that when you launch a product, you launch it at break-even price. That's the easiest way to wrap your head around it. You launch at break-even, no profit in it, maybe even, depending on the niche, a small loss in it per sale, because what you need to do on Amazon is acquire sales history and say and reviews once you get them you can start increasing your prices and that's where your profit comes from okay that was a video from my regular monday night q and a session with the members of the aussie online entrepreneurs we are a community of over two and a half thousand people and growing we're the fastest growing community of e-commerce entrepreneurs right now with sales by the way of over 50 million dollars if you would like to find out more about what we do and also come and join us get yourself off to www.aussie onlineentrepreneurs.com.au. The link for that is in the description and I will see you on the next video. Until then, bye for now.